My name is Aspen Ladd. My fight record is 8-1, and one, and I train on El Dorado Hills, California, Team MMA Gold. Um, as part of that, being a shy kid, needing something to do, I walked into a gym one day and I just wanted to practice martial arts. I didn't really know what MMA was. And as soon as I figured it out within the first week, I knew I eventually wanted to fight. When I turned 18, I eventually did. I don't even remember the first time I got punched in the face, honestly. It's just the whole process, the training, the getting better, the seeing those people that have been there like eight months, like, oh my gosh, they're so good. I want to be like that one day. I don't think I can, at the beginning, I definitely didn't consider it, this could be my future job. It was before women were the UFC, anything like that, and there was really not much money in it. So I was, okay, I gotta go to school and do this, but I'm gonna do this on the side as my passion. And then as I kept on progressing and doing better, and then obviously we had Rhonda and the women got in the UFC, I started to see, oh gosh, you, you can make a living at it. You can do very well. So it went from this is my side passion to this is my career around that time. I'm back in the gym, win or lose, it's it's one part, so it's one step in a long like marathon of a career. So if you get too head casey over something that happens, something negative, something you're not too happy with, it's going to impact the rest of it and there's really no need to. You need to reflect, you need to fix the mistakes you made. Sometimes you get caught, sometimes you do something dumb, sometimes you don't listen to your coaches right. It happens. But you can't really sit there and get so, like, I've seen people get despondent and depressed and just have issues really, really head casey and it doesn't serve me. Yes, but it's sacrifices that are different from sacrifices other people have to make. Being in the UFC, the fight life, it gives you freedom. I am not attached to a nine to five job. I train and training is my job every day, but I enjoy it. So I have the freedom to do something I enjoy and live my life outside of the parameters of what a normal person is chained to. So I'm very excited about that. I'm happy, I'm grateful.